Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Hey, <laughs> oh god, that's a terrible opening for this one. Okay, all right. As you may or may not have guessed, I have a certain affinity for anime. It's a genre that I really, really like. But what you might not know is that I am also a very big fan of cooking shows. Whether it be Chef's Table, Diners, Dive-Ins, and Drives, Iron Chef, both America and the original, Anything put out by such personalities as Gordon Ramsay, Alton Brown, and Matthew Matheson. I simply love cooking, chef, culinary related media. Which makes it a bit of a surprise that I've never really gotten into any sort of cooking anime. It's just a subgenre that I really haven't touched at all. But I think I may touch it soon. Because I recently played a game which other people have described as basically playing one such member of that anime genre. That being Battle Chef Brigade. Case in point, the Nintendo Switch version. Battle Chef Brigade, for those of you who don't know, is a sort of pseudo-visual pseudo novel beat-em-up puzzle game RPG thing, which despite you know, basically balancing and juggling all these different genres works out into this sort of beautiful amalgam that's just plain fun. It's just fun. The s story is presented in an anime-esque art style and is presenting in a sort of, I would say more in a visual novel style, because while you are giving these scenes and characters full body instead of just a look at their face or at their upper above wasteland versions they animate in a very visual novel way as in there's not much animation between frame by frame but just there's these subtle tweaks and movements that just give the images of them such personality and it's all rendered in this sort of I don't know visual novel manga aesthetic that just it just oozes charm, it just oozes personality. Every... I didn't come across a single character design that I found unpleasant, and the few that were more... The few that didn't just look straight up handsome or beautiful were like rendered in such a way that they were quirky and pleasant to look at, if like, you know, adorable in a sort of pug-like ugly way. And the game itself... So yeah, this is presented in that sort of style, and it plays a bit strangely. Um, Battleship Brigade plays in... Its story is centered around this world where monsters roam the land and, you know, cooks, you know, double as the fighters slash adventurers of this world. People kill monsters and then cook them, and it's not really clear if the cooking gives superpowers. Well, there are mentions about how, like, you know, there's mentions about how they'll whip up a dish to, you know, boost someone's heat resistance, but in reality, this has no gameplay um, impact. These are seemingly cooked simply because chefs love to cook and, you know, it's just passionate. This is basically, this is a world which is the upper echelons of society are the judges and the characters from, you know, a show like Iron Chef, shall we say. The, you know, head... You know, it feels like the biggest power of this land is the Battle Chef Brigade, which is this sort of co military culinary power, which hosts a tournament every year where prospective chefs can come in and sort of challenge each other to cook-offs in order to become a part of it. And that's where we get into the story. We have a character named Mina, who is this 21-year-old who wants to basically break away from our parents' restaurant and become a member of the Battle Chef Brigade, which, you know, we start off the game with her running away from home and heading over to the capital and, you know, joining this tournament. And that's where our story goes. The gameplay is split up into sections where you first start off in town and you can interact with various different characters. You can do a couple of challenges, which consists of a sort of puzzle challenge where you have to, um, they give you a certain set of tiles 
which you have to rotate around in a sort of match streak like configuration like i would say the closest thing is like bejeweled and that's how you you know pass this job and they also have one where you have to go hunt down monsters and one where you have to rotate the gems into a certain pattern these are these three jobs you can do to earn gold which you can later you can then use to buy items that will help you out in your actual tournament battles now when now also within the area this is where you can also challenge other characters like you can go and talk to the various characters in the town which i all said as i said before are all very pleasant to look at all have personalities that are just winners they're all just great but you can talk to these characters for information and occasionally to get items and you also can challenge them to a cook-off and since there is a tournament like so it starts the cook-offs go off you enter this sort of iron chef like arena and basically you know the chairman will say hey here is our mystery ingredient and in and in addition to that, you also have a judge who will go, I want a uh, item dish that, you know, primarily is fire-based or water-based, or I want one that's both earth and fire elements. And then the time, and then the cook-off starts. Now, cook-offs, the way they work is that you are given a certain time limit, and so is your opponent. And then you go off into this little area where you engage in, you know, you find monsters and you have to beat them to death and, you know, take out their parts. They explode into various little culinary items and you pick them up. Now, for these areas, the gameplay is, it's simple, but it gets the job done. It's not to the levels of, say, something like, I don't know, De 2D Devil May Cry, which is basically a single player fighting game, but it, it is... It has some depth depth you have you know different attacks depending on whether or not you just attack standing up attack while running attack while jumping or you know you know different directional buttons plus the att the you know attack button will cause your character to do different things you also have the addition of magic which runs under the same system depending on which direction you hold the d-pad and which you know you hold while you use your magic you do different things uh, the main character Mina has a whirlwind a which allows her to create this like solid wall of damage she also has a knife which she can throw from a distance and she also has a sort of teleport to the back of the character to attack them for additional combos and such so yeah it's nothing really to write home about but this you use to collect ingredients which you then bring back to your kitchen and there you each ingredient has a certain amount of um, orbs that it's worth and each one has different colors so you put them into your cooking area a limited space and you then have to you know rotate them match three or possibly match two or match four depending on what kind of cooking vessel you're using in so this ties into um, the RPG like elements I was speaking of earlier this game has a sort of progression system where you know as you do jobs you earn gold and you can use gold to buy different items which all do different things there are certain combat like items which you use um like say there is an item that makes it so that every time you dodge you actually inflict damage if you dodge past something there's another item which allows you to double jump one that makes it so that your daggers your magic daggers actually slow enemies once you hit them there are also items that affect either um, cooking or collecting like such items that increase the amount of slots you have to collect items that allow you to say well you get an oven very early on that when you place items in over time the items rank up as if you were matching three and you also get one that allows you to delete certain items also like there's also some pots that are like if you know that the chef you're going to be cooking for has an affinity for a fire then you can buy a pot that allows you to match two instead of match three fire orbs to get fire orbs up quality to get fire orbs of higher quality quicker but it won't match any other elements so there is an element of progression not like experience but you can buy certain items that allow you to change up how you cook and how you prepare your dishes so yeah ah, there's also a sort of um it's also a like you can buy these skill books which you can equip which allow you to if you 
um, if you fulfill certain requirements, give you a boost in points. Like you have one that says if you have a level 3 gem of all three colors, you get 50 points extra. If you have like, say, you use some sort of monster ingredient that has poison, you also get more points at the end of it, so on and so forth. So yeah, basically you make your dish, and once the time limit goes down, you have to present it to your judge, or else you get a penalty, point penalty for going over time, and, you know, then both di dish, your dish and the opponent's dish are judged. And from there, they're given points, um, depending on how they use, if they, whether or not they use the secret ingredient, and whether or not they fulfill the judge's requirement of whatever element they wanted. So that's, you know, it's a very fun little game, and as time goes on, you get more little challenges, like, say, a character will request, like, I want an earth dish, and the main ingredient is water and fire based, primarily. Or you'll get multiple dish, multiple judges who are like, I want one element, I want the other element, or they'll both pick, like, I want earth and fire, and I want earth and water, and it's just, it makes a lot of challenges, so you have to learn to juggle multiple little puzzles, multiple dishes, you have to, you know, learn what, do I want to collect a bunch of, you know, items first, then cook my dish, or if you're using, like, say, the ovens, which, like, rank up your gems over time, do I want to, like, collect as much food as possible quickly, bring it back, put it in the oven, then go back and, you know, let the oven take care of things over time. It's just, there's a nice little bit of strategy in it, and in addition to that, the story goes places. Like, originally it's about Mina and going to this tournament, but over time it becomes, the plot thickens, and it's just, uh, it, I, the plot there's these, you know, sudden plot shifts and twists that just surprise me playing through it. Like, I expected, like, a anime-esque story, but there were some legitimately surprising moments and legitimately heart-wrenching moments that I never expected that I just really loved. So, I don't want to talk about the plot that much, but let me tell you, it is not what it seems when you first start playing it. But yeah, Battleship Arena, uh, Battleship Brigade is just a phenomenal, fun little game. It's a solid 8 out of 10 if you have fun of match 3 puzzles and, you know, any love for 2D beat em up style combat. And even if you don't, it's not really, it's not that hard. You just gotta learn to dodge and you are pretty much well set. But yeah, this game is just a load of fun and I had especially a lot of fun with my you know, Nintendo Switch, playing it on the go, wherever I was, when I was waiting for stuff, just, oh, great, it is a total recommendation, especially if you own a Switch, it's just one of those indie games that are just, it's brilliant, lovely, 8 out of 10, it's 20 bucks, and if you don't have a Nintendo Switch, well, then it's on PC, and if I'm not mistaken, it's also coming to consoles, don't quote me on that, though, I'm not exactly sure, but yeah, this is just, it's a lovely little gem of a game that I am glad I bought and played. But yeah. So yeah, that's been my thoughts and opinions on Battle Chef for Grade. A lovely little indie that, once again, if you have a Switch, buy it. If you have a PC, buy it on that too. I don't care. Just support this developer. This developer deserves love. Adult Swim Games, once again, spectacular choice. You know, I, do, I have played quite a bit of Adult Swim games, and I don't think they've published a bad game yet, or at least one I haven't I've played. So yeah, if you like this video, by the way, like it. If you didn't, well, there's a button for that too. Comment, subscribe, ring the bell, check out the links in the description for my other channels, as well as my website and social media stuff. Anyways, this has been Juan John John. I shall see you next time. Goodbye, and Viva La Brigade. Congratulations! All right! I was hoping this would calm me down, but now I'm more excited for the tournament to start than before. That was a great warm-up. Mina, 
You're a strong competitor. Really? Mm-hmm. You're so serious while cooking. It's admirable, but don't get too tense. I can see your mind racing in a million directions. Don't forget to breathe. It's funny how I forget to do that when I'm concentrating really hard. I've never battled against chefs from all around the country before. Just think of all the different cuisines and techniques assembled here for the tournament. It's a taste of the world. Speaking of which, I think I hear some music starting up. Let's go and enjoy the opening ceremonies. Good practice. <laughs> 